Oh, hey, Kaza here from vcsports.com. So, if you haven't heard yet, the Commonwealth Times received and published an anonymous letter to the editor regarding the current state of the VCU Peppas. It's titled, Take the Money and Run. And it alleges that former assistant director Dwayne Costin, who stepped into longtime director Ryan Capacci's role following an unsuccessful contract negotiation, is far from harmonious. The writer begins, quote, Sadly, I write due to the current steadily declining state of affairs with the new director of the VCU pet band, Dwayne Costin, end quote, and clarifies that the reason for anonymity is the fear of dismissal as others who disagree with Costin have recently been excused from the band. You are probably familiar with the antics of Ryan Capacci during his 18-year tenure as the director of the Peppas. He was energetic, enthusiastic, and an entertainer as he expected the same from his band. But according to the author, quote, in contrast, Kassin has been the perfect politician. He says exactly the right things, but his actions are empty, end quote. The unnamed Peppa depicts Kostin as a unapproachable leader who is always on the defensive and who has not delivered on his agenda, including payment to students who exceed a set number of performances and attendance policies for the covenant spots at men's basketball. Kostin is relying on students to direct the band in his absence and per his own policy, he isn't even eligible for a spot at men's hoops himself. With the black and gold game a few days away, the Peppas are feeling the pressure of just two rehearsals prior to the letter. The writer concludes, quote, it is a tragedy VCU decided they could not agree with our previous director's contract terms. What VCU received was a divorce from one of the most talented, creative, and passionate directors I have ever played for. As a result, VCU has left the hole in the heart of the band, end quote. So, oh man, this is juicy. <laughs> so my thoughts on the current situation on this letter. I, I, I hear where the anonymous Peppa is coming from. Kostin, from my view, doesn't seem approachable. He seems, he seems like that fifth grade professor that gets really mad if you put your hand up to ask a question, to question something about his teaching style, and then he gives you, you know, detention. I also believe that the overall vibe and energy of the band has also diminished a little bit. Uh, the kids obviously are still into games and stuff like that, but comparing it to the last couple of seasons with the Peppas, they just don't seem more into it. They just seem there in the moment. We're going to cheer, but not like fully like we are committed to being the loudest bunch of kids with musical instruments ever. I also think that Costin as a politician, I wouldn't go that far. I, I think Costin is definitely not Ryan, and we keep talking about it. Ryan will never be replaced. If you're thinking Costin's gonna be a replacement, of course he is going to fail, regardless. He's the new guy, he's not the guy that everybody agreed with, but now with a Peppa coming out to us saying what he wants to implement at the pep band and him doing the complete opposite to what he was saying kind of questions him as a leader and also as a developer of these kids in this musical program. So whether you're a fan, a former Peppa, student, or you just caught this in passing, here's our question to you. What are your thoughts on the current band member airing their grievances about the current state of the band and will it result in an obvious change to the electric game day atmosphere at the Siegel Center? To read the original letter to the editor post, pick up a copy of the newest edition of the Commonwealth Times or check out the online version at www.commonwealthtimes.org.